Welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a while, um, but I have a new bag, a birthday bag. It is a bum bag. <laughs> Always. It, I feel like I need to, I need to, I have other bags other than bum bags um, or belt bags or whatever you want to call them, but I just, I love the convenience of them. I think they're trendy and they, they give kind of a trendy vibe to any outfit, any classic outfit that you might be wearing. And they're very comfortable and they're very easy to use and they hold a deceptively large amount. But full disclaimer, I did end up selling the Burberry bum bag that I had because the pattern just wasn't working with any of my outfits, which is odd because I do wear a lot of very plain outfits. Um, a lot of grays, a lot of blacks. Maybe it was just, it definitely was not a good summer bag. I didn't like that pattern for the summer. So, sorry Burberry, you had to go on to, maybe it was Rebag. I think that's where it ended up going. Um, but I got another bum bag for my birthday and it's kind of a repeat. And the reason I say it's a repeat is because my favorite bum bag, which is not a bum bag, it's actually a cross body sling bag on me, is the Louis Vuitton monogram. This, this poor thing. <laughs> this bag is probably about five years old. I got it, I pre-ordered it, so I got it as soon as it came out. So however long this bag has been on the market is how long I've had this bag. This bag is untreated leather. I am not afraid of naturally aging leather, vaquetta, and uh, it even has stains. I think it has a stain. Yeah, it actually has a stain right there. I'm okay with that. I bought this bag to use it and I have used it. Cost per wear, I'm probably down into single digits by now. I love this bag. It travels with me. It goes with me so many places. It has been such an amazing investment for my birthday. I ended up getting its classier little sister. <laughs> uh, so this is like, the, I guess, the dress-up version of the bag. I don't know. I all of a sudden just started to obsess over the Empreinte leather version of this bag and decided I needed it in my collection. And I think I ended up buying the Burberry version just because I was trying to avoid getting this for some reason. I was, I was trying to supplement my love for this with a different bag and it just did not work out. I wanted this bag. This bag was always out of stock Oh look, here comes the cat. Uh, and cat. Um, because of that, I had to call the 800 number and a wonderful sales associate helped me locate this bag and have it sent to my local store. And so, <laughs> cat again. I ended up getting this bag. I've had it for about a month. I went to pick it up. I've been in love with it ever since. It is significantly smaller than the big the big sister. That being said, oh my goodness, kitty. <laughs> that being said, he he wants to get in on the action. I still cannot wear this as a bum bag. I think there was someone on YouTube that said that this one could be made smaller and I do agree that it is significantly smaller around the waist than this one but even in its absolute smallest setting this bag can be taken on and off without undoing the strap on someone my size and so because of that I say it cannot be worn as a belt bag on me that that's my criteria in order for me to wear it as a belt bag I do need to be able to have it on with anything, even yoga pants, and have it not come off without unbuckling it. It has to stay around my waist. My waist is in the 22 range, and I wear a size 23 in jeans, a size zero in Lululemon, and I don't know what size my hips are, but I'm assuming they're small, <laughs> okay? Um, so I, don't, I don't think I've ever measured, but, 
this if you are in that family that size range this does not fit you even around your hips as a bum bag if your criteria is you know you could just pull it off without undoing the straps or undoing the buckle which is right here so again I do wear this as this is completely full this is what I plan on using today and probably for the next week right there in the front and then also in the back it lays just like its larger sister does except it's very comfortable uh, not that this one isn't this is an amazingly comfortable bag as well as a sleeping pack but this strap i do find to be extremely comfortable it's i have a pochette matisse in the emprunt leather and i think it's a very heavy bag it, i love it i use it for work but this one I, is very light. A little side note, it also has the pocket in the back, which is great for a phone or your wallet. But uh, I did notice right after I got this bag, and I have a couple other small bags I should do reviews on, that I just hadn't been reaching for my small bags as much, and they were I was getting frustrated with the small bags, which is unusual for me because I don't carry what I consider to be a lot. Um, but I just my, but I do have essentials that I won't leave the house without. And if you've seen my channel before, you do know that one of my absolute essentials is, and I know that this is not for everybody, the mini pochette. I don't go anywhere without this because I switch bags a lot and I there are just things in here that I'm not willing, like eye drops and medications and perfume and band-aids, all kinds of little things that I don't want floating around in the bottom of my bag. And at the same time, I don't wanna have to remember to pick each one of those things out it's just not practical. I want to be able to grab this, my key pouch, whether it be a six key ring or a key clay. It's, it's this, sunglasses, and some form of key holder. Right now, I have the brand new Omprant Leather key pouch. Love this. This is awesome. This is so beautiful and so awesome. I should do a key pouch review because I use something, even though my keys are not attached currently, I use something that, look at the color on that. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> I use something for my keys and a mini pochette, like sunglasses and phone. That's my essentials. You, I think you have to gauge like what your essentials are because I realize some people be like, well, just take your stuff out of the mini pochette. Not practical, not gonna do it, does not work for my lifestyle. I have to have this pouch and it has, why does it have to be this one? Because it has this chain on it that I can hook into my larger bags. That's why it has to be this pouch. Just for me, just has to be. But what I realized, in the end, what I realized was that it came down to my phone. During COVID, I had switched to an iPhone 12 Pro Max, the larger phone, and it was preventing me from using my smaller bags. Not because it didn't fit, but because it just, it was so heavy and it took up so much room and I had to squish everything inside to make it work. It was not an enjoyable experience to use my smaller bags, including this bum bag because it is smaller. And so I moved to the iPhone 13 Pro, not the Max. And I'm using all my small bags again. I love them just as much as I loved them before. Hey, look, it's the cat again. And I, <laughs> I think it makes all the difference in the world. Also, with the Pro Max, I thought I would have more room for, you know, calls and um, 
all the things that I like webinars and things of that nature and I didn't like there was no significant difference in the actual screen space uh, I, it was just it was heavy my hands are extremely like the rest of me it's extremely small so it's heavy and then I had to grip it like this um, and it just consider it just consider it when you're buying a phone how does it work with your handbags how does it work with your essentials how does it work with your lifestyle and you might consider moving back down to a smaller phone because it made a difference. So because of that, my phone can fit simply and easily into this back pocket. Whereas, here's my actual phone. There you go. Whereas this phone, which I turned in, I just exchanged it. It does fit but it was so heavy and it, it really affected the space on the inside. Because a case is one thing, but when the actual phone is in there, it makes a huge difference. It's not flexible. Like a case, if you're just putting in a case to see how a phone is gonna fit, it's flexible and malleable, whereas the phone is extremely solid. So I am loving my 13 Pro, not Max. Uh, this has a microfiber lining. I'm not a bag organizer person. The mini pochette is my organizer. That's what I use as an organizer. So I, the cat actually is moving the stand. Uh, that's what I use as the organizer. In addition to the mini pochette and my little key pouch, other things I can fit in here comfortably. It's a chapstick, a hand sanitizer, two masks, sunglasses. They should have a case, but they don't. I just have some regular AirPods in here at the moment, a lip gloss, my keys, which normally go in the mini pochette, and some wet wipes. So again, I'm going to put my keys inside of the mini pochette so they don't scratch anything. Not that there's much to be scratched. And then I can put the mini pochette in the back, I put the mini pochette in the very back. I put the wet wipes just in case they were to leak right behind. I'm not sure microfiber was the best idea for a lining in this bag, but I mean, it is what it is. The little key pouch, I'm using my sixth key ring holder for my work key, so it's in my work bag, uh, which is just a regular long chomp bag that this one can fit inside if I need it to. It sits down in the front like that so it's easy access. You can also put it in this back pocket but for right now that just happens to be where my phone is. Then I'll take my lip products and my hand sanitizer and all of this and place them on the sides. I'll use the masks as a buffer and then just put the sunglasses over the top. And the leather on this is so soft. Another difference is this guy has only one zipper while she has two. There. The lip on this doesn't quite go across the whole zipper so you don't have to fumble with it. And it is very easy to get in and out of. Would I recommend this bag? Absolutely. I feel so bad that I spent time and money on other bum bags when I was really just lusting after this one. I should have just bit the bullet and bought it. So if you can find it or if you can call the 800 number and get it, just do it. Just If, if you want this bag, just go and get this bag. It is 100% worth it. It's very comfortable. It is smaller but it's still a decent size, especially I know probably 90% of you are not obsessed with that mini push out like I am. So if you don't have that in there, you have a ton more space that I don't just it sacrifices. That's something that I'm not willing to sacrifice. And keep in mind what I said about smaller phones. I don't know if this was a bag review or just chatting about random things. I'm not sure. I have about three other bags that I would like to do reviews on, and I do believe that I will get to those within the next month. 
I also, my students want me to do book reviews via YouTube, so I will be doing some book reviews probably on a different channel, but as soon as I get that up and running, I will link that because I'm all about books and bags. That's what I got. I got books and bags. <laughs> and I don't necessarily know that the two should mix, but if you think the two should mix and we should have books and bags together, then leave me a comment down below so I know that you're okay with me putting book videos on my bag channel and bag videos on my book channel. Um, I only read psychological thrillers, I'm sorry. I know it's such a, like a limited genre, but it's such an awesome genre. So you're not gonna get any kind of romance books or chick flick books or anything like that. There's no self-help, there's no, there's nothing about improve, like there's no self-help, there's no girl stuff, there's, there's no um, politically correct woke stuff. I'm a Christian, there's even no Christian stuff. It is just all psychological thrillers because in my spare time, that is what I enjoy reading. It gives me pleasure and entertainment. And so that is what I will be reviewing. But if you're interested in having that on this channel and not on a separate channel, just to let me know. Uh, and then keep in mind what I said about the cell phones. Again, when it came to screen size real estate, so many things weren't formatted for this size screen that it's not making that much of a difference. I'm not noticing it. It's just, this is more comfortable to hold in my hand and for my little bags. Thank you all for joining me. Come visit again soon, and please let me know what you think about those books.